So I got some bad news. Uh, due to the horrible, scary virus that is making people eat toilet paper, I guess. That that's the only thing people could be doing with this much. I, I swear. <laughs> anyway, uh the thing has been cancelled. E three has been cancelled for this year. At least the physical version of it, at least. The ESA, the governing body that not only manages E three but also the ESRB, had this to say. After careful consultation with our member companies regarding the health and safety of everyone in our industry, our fans, our employees, our exhibitors, and our longtime E3 partners, we have made the difficult decision to cancel E3 2020, originally scheduled for June 9th through 11th in Los Angeles. Following increase in overwhelming concerns about the COVID-19 virus, we felt this was the best way to proceed during such an unprecedented global situation. We are very disappointed that we are unable to hold this event for our fans and supporters, but we know it's the right decision based on the information we have today. However, we are exploring options with our members to coordinate an online experience to showcase industry and announcements and news in June of 2020. As far as that goes, both Microsoft and Ubisoft are also going to be making their own announcements around that time as well as one that Microsoft is going to be live streaming just next week. And at next week's live streaming event that Microsoft will be hosting, Xbox boss Bill Spencer tweeted specifically that they will showcase the next generation of gaming, wherein we can expect more information, more concrete information at least, about the Xbox Series X and Project X Cloud, which, with any luck, will have not quite the same amount of hiccups that Shadow, Stadia, or GeForce have had over the last few months. Personally, I haven't been able to access Shadow because I live in one of the rumored non-existent states across the U.S. But in any case, this Microsoft event should give us more concrete information about everything we can expect out of Xbox over the next year or so. Maybe a few months. Maybe. PlayStation, however, was already confirmed not to be going, as for the last year or so, they have been doing their own State of Play announcements every three months, with the last one being December 10th. Hopefully, we can get some news out of them, something more concrete about the PlayStation 5, and whether that one will also be launching dual consoles around the Christmas season. As well as something more official from Sony, as so far we've just been running on rumors about the specifications of the upcoming console. And as a part of this show, a lot of big publishers, including Square Enix, Bethesda, and EA, just to name a few, were all expected to make some sizable announcements regarding their current projects, and some things we would have been able to expect not just on the current consoles, but possibly on the next ones as well, such as Starfield, maybe Madden 2K21 or something, I, 2021, I, I don't know what EA is working on, probably one of their EA Sports titles, they're always working on them. Or maybe the next Call of Duty game that Activision's working on. But in any case, all of them are likely to work together with the licensors, in this case Xbox and PlayStation, to potentially release their information in their own way, such as EA's EA Play 2020, which it itself told Polygon that they are reviewing changes for. As a part of this uh, PDA, public disclosure announcement, uh, we've, dis we've continued to follow the coronavirus developments around the world very closely. Clearly the situation is evolving by the day, and we've been reviewing how it will change our plans for EA Play 2020. We will share more soon.
And Nintendo went on to say that it supports the ESA's decision to cancel this year's E3 to help protect the health and safety of everyone in our industry, our fans, our employees, our exhibitors, and our longtime E3 partners. No information was available about what Nintendo planned for the E3 presence. However, they typically host an extended Nintendo Direct presentation with live coverage directly from their Nintendo Treehouse. So regardless of how things shake up regarding these publishers and their ongoing projects, we can expect to see some good quality information from them in the months leading up to June. If you guys want to support me, blah, 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 Facebook, blah, 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 YouTube, blah, blah. But if you guys want to do something more courageous, something more giving, something that will actually net you some good karma at the end of the day, just head on over to HumbleBundle.com. They have all kinds of bundles on different kinds of stuff, whether it's TV, books, music, games, whatever. Not only is that stuff discounted, but a lot of the stuff you end up getting from there will support a charity. The month, the feature charity this month is called Child's Play, which improves the lives of children in hospitals and other child care facilities through the power of play. So regardless of what you decide to get, should you decide to get anything from that website, you will be supporting a charity in doing so. So I, I personally think that's really cool. So the... The link to that website is in the description down below. Just head on over there and pick something up for yourself.